basic logic gates uh, this is very important for your lab part it's a prerequisite for all the experiments so this agenda of today's topic will be will be studying about basic logic gates derived gates and also realization of your basic gates using derived gates okay see in basic uh, logic gates we have two category one is your basic gates and uh, another one is your uh, derived gates okay so one is your basic and another one is your derived gates see in basic gates we have and gate or and not gate these are called as your basic gates in derived gates using these basic gates i'll be constructing your another gate called as your nand nand gate nor gate and your xor gate okay these are your derived gates so nand gate is constructed using and and not nor is constructing using uh, your uh, or and not gate so this is the first thing that you must remember so let's see let's go uh, let's go by one by one now we'll take up first and gate see there are various representation for each logic gates okay so usually a logic gate will be having any gate what uh, what do you mean by gate any electronic circuit which is having one or more inputs so this is my input which is subjected to an gate okay and it will be producing one output so the input is named as a second input as b your output is represented as y so your y is the operation which is performed on these particular two inputs so if you consider this and gate i have two inputs a and b my y is equal to a dot b it means that it is product of two terms so the representation of each gates can be represented in three or any a n number of ways so one way is your circuit diagram so this as you have as you are seeing here is my circuit diagram of and gate okay so second representation of logic gate is your truth table what do you mean by truth table so each logic diagram can be represented in a table form so that is what is my inputs i am having input a b and my output y is equal to a dot b so this is my output so what are all the possible combinations of two inputs so if there are two inputs what is the total number of possible combinations which i i can have here so i can have here four possible combination one is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so what is 0 into 0 that is it is 0 see and gate it is very simple when both the conditions are true your output will be true for rest all other conditions it will be false so this is your truth table of your and gate the third representation of and gate is your pin diagram so what do you mean by pin diagram see if you consider your logic circuit okay so when you are constructing any gates using your uh, trainer kit in your laboratories we'll be using one uh, circuit called as ic's okay what is what do you mean by ic that is integrated chips so it means that it's an electronic component it will be somewhat like this okay it will be having a number of pins here i think most of you might have seen what is an ic so there will be a number which is written on your this particular ic so this is the component which will be using for your construction of gate on this particular component there will be a number which is uh, each gate represents so for example which gate we have considered now we have considered and gate two this is how many inputs here we have two inputs so there are there can be four input and gate three input and gate and all for this instance i am using two input and gate so the ic number associated with your and gate is 7408 you must remember this 7408 is the ic number in which your and gate is being implemented okay you have the ic that is 7408 within 7408 what is the gate which is present there the and gate is present there okay so this is the first step so how do i represent my pin diagram how do i write my and gate pin diagram see any ic see any ic this particular ic which i am drawing for your and gate 
will be having 14 pins here totally what is the total number of pins i am having 14 pins say i'll be writing the pins here the pin number goes like this so seven pins on each side here this is my uh, one two three four five six and seven here i am having eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen okay so how do i write this particular pin diagram so this is my pin number one two three four five six and seven here i'm having eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen okay so my ic number is seven four zero eight so here in your and gate my first and second pin acts as your input pin. So that is my input one and input two. Here I'll subject it to AND gate. The output is connected to third pin. Next, four and five will be acting as inputs. Sixth will be acting as output. The seventh will be connected to your ground. Okay. Or you can call it as minus VEE. -E. Okay. Next. 9 and 10 will be acting as your input okay 8 pin will be acting as your output pin similarly your 12th and 13th pin will be acting as your input your 11th pin will be acting as your output 14th pin will be connected to your power supply or plus vcc or plus 5 volts okay any doubts in this construction of uh, and gate with various representations circuit diagram truth table and pin diagram any doubts okay. okay so this is how you represent your logic gate this is the very first gate which i have considered let's go let's go ahead now so now i'll be taking or gate so or gate again i'm taking two inputs or gate my input one and input two this is your or gate representation so i have my input a and b so this is y is equal to a plus b okay my truth table goes like this i have input a and b y is equal to a plus b possible combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 in this what is my output see in or gate see for all the if both the conditions are false my output will be false okay for rest all other things my output will be true so zero represent false one represents your true conditions okay so this is your truth table for your or gate okay next how do i write my pin diagram i'll be not writing the numbers for each and everything here again your first and second pin will be acting as your input the the third pin will be acting as your output four and five will be acting as your input okay so fifth pin will be acting as your uh, sixth pin will be acting as your output so seventh is connected to ground next here i'm having eight so eight nine and ten will be acting as your input pin eighth pin will be acting as your output next your uh, 13 and 12 will be acting as your input pin 11th pin will be acting as your output pin so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7th will be ground okay next i'm having 8 9 and 10 11 12 and 13 14th pin will be connected to your power supply any doubts in this so the ic number associated with your or gate is Two input or gate is 7432. Any doubts with this? Can I go further? Yes, sir. Next yes, is your sir. NOT gate. So this is the last basic gate which I'm having. So input for NOT gate is one input. So input is subjected to here, my output. So if A is my input, output will be A bar. A bar means if zero is my input, one will be my output so what is the truth table which i'm having i'm having a as my input only single input so why the output will be a bar okay 
so either a can be 0 or a can be 1 if a is 0 the output will be 1 if a is 1 the output will be 0 so what is the not gate uh, pin diagram okay so in pin diagram not gate pin diagram observe here i have my 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 okay so your your first pin acts as your input pin your second pin acts as your output third as acts as your input fourth will be acting as your output fifth will be acting as input sixth will be output seventh pin is your ground next uh, so here again it is nine will be acting as your input eighth pin will be output next 11 will be acting as your input 10 will be acting as your output 13 will be acting as your input 12 will be acting as your output okay so the ic number associated with your not gate is 7404 okay any doubts in this not gate no, okay so please remember that see any gate see if you observe here the, uh, for instance i have written and or and not See how many gates can your two input. I should read this as two input or gate. So 7432 is an IC which is consisting of two input or gate. So how many gates can be accommodated within 7432? How many gates? Four. Four gates. So here I'm I'm having this is my first gate, this is my second gate. Okay, this is my third gate. This is my fourth gate. Okay, so totally of four gates I can accommodate within this. So when it comes to not gate, how many gates I, I can accommodate here? I can accommodate up to six gates here. So this is with respect to your basic gates. Now, now I will go with uh, the derived gate. See, derived gates, I'm having two derived gates. One is your NAND and another one is your NOR. Okay, so NAND is the opposite of AND gate. So how do I represent? The circuit diagram goes like this. I have two inputs, that is A and B. So this is my AND gate. So this is your negation symbol of AND gate. The output will be NAND. So that is Y is equal to A dot B was your AND gate. A dot B was your AND gate. So the negation of this is your NAND gate. So how do I represent using truth table? So uh, I'm having two inputs that is A and B. My output will be Y is equal to A dot B bar. Okay, so possible combinations will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So what will be the output See, uh, for AND gate? If both the uh, inputs are true, it was true. So here it will be the negation that is if both the inputs are true, the output will be false or zero. Rest all other things will be true. Okay. This is your truth table of your NAND gate. So the IC number which is associated with your two input NAND gate is 7400. Please remember the IC number, guys. It's very important. See, when you come to lab for your examination and all, you must pick your IC by yourself in such a way that you pick the exact uh number ic number which is associated with this okay how do i write the pin diagram of your nand gate see nand gate goes like this it is again a 14 pin ic okay 14 pin ic i have pin number one two three four five six and seven here i'm having eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen okay so again goes like this so one and one and two will be acting as your input so next the output will be third pin next this is these two are your inputs this is your output seventh pin will be ground next these two will be acting as your input pin this is output okay these two acts as your input pin this is your output so it is connected to uh, plus vcc this is your 14th pin is there any doubts with respect to your uh, nand gate 7400
any doubts in this no sir okay let's go ahead the second derived gate is your nor gate so nor gate is your opposite of or gate so two inputs i am having this is your or gate this is your or gate so i'll put a negation with this such that it become nor gate so it is a b is my inputs so this is y is equal to a plus b whole bar the truth table associated with this is i am having two inputs that is a and b my y is equal to a plus b whole bar 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so for or gate if both the inputs were false your output was false so it is again here in this nor gate it is true rest all other things will be false okay so now how to write the pin diagram see pin configuration of your nor gate is so the ic number is 74 7402 is your pin number ic number here so see writing of your nor gate is very much important see i'll be i'll be just drawing it try to draw it a little bit neatly okay legibly i'll be just writing this i see so again it's a 14 pin ic guys okay so the total number of pins is again here i'm having 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 Here I am having eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Okay, please observe here. Observe in NOR gate. See, the IC number is seven four zero two. Okay, here the input pin and output pin varies here. See, your two and three pins will be acting as your input. Okay, uh, your first pin will be acting as your output. okay same as like this you are uh, this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 okay here we'll go like this fifth and sixth pin will be acting as your input pin your fourth pin will be acting as your output seventh will be grounded again here please go ahead so 9th and 8th will be acting as your input pin your 10th pin will be acting as your output pin so 12th and 11th will be acting as your input pin 13th pin will be acting as your output pin so i could not write it uh, very legibly okay due to your electronic pen which is which i am having here okay so this is your nor gate please uh, remember this it's very important out of all gates your nor gate the input pin and output pin associated with your nor gate is very much important why because your first pin will be acting as your output pin when you are doing circuit connections with respect to your trainer kit see that you connect two and three to your input pins first pin to your output pin okay any doubts in this nor gate no sir no sir no sir Next we have XOR gate. See in XOR gate, it's a again. I'll be taking two inputs here, A and B. Okay, A and B. So the representation of circuit uh, logic diagram of this XOR gate is like this. Two inputs A and B. It is Y is equal to Y is equal to A. This is your XOR symbol. XOR B. okay so the truth table associated with this i have two inputs a and b so this is y is equal to a x or b okay so the possible combinations of inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so x or says that if see if any of the inputs is true my output will be true so that these two conditions are true rest all other things it is false this is how you remember your xor gate if any one of the input is true your output is will be true okay so uh, so uh, so here see any one should be true here so this is how your xor gate representation now 
let's go ahead with your uh, circuit uh, sorry pin diagram so pin diagram your, your ic number associated with your xor gate is 7486 7486 here is your ic number and uh, the same logic gates goes like this i'll be not writing the numbers here one and two will be acting as your input pin okay so the output will be third pin four and five will be acting as your input okay fifth pin uh, sixth pin will be output next here again uh, 10 9 is your input okay 8 is your output okay 13 and 12 will be acting as input 11 will be acting as your output pin so again 14 is vcc and uh, seventh is ground okay any doubts in xor gate can we go ahead yes sir okay cool next so uh, we'll be going so next uh, so this is uh, the realization of basic gates using your derived gates what do you mean by realization realization simply means construction okay so achieving this particular gates using what derived gates for example we'll be studying achieving means i'll be using what, what are all my derived gate which i'm having i'm having nand as my derivative derived gate and nor as my derived gate using nand i'll be achieving and and or not okay again i'll be using nor gate as a basic gear, basic thing i'll be constructing your and or and not this is what it means realization of basic gates using your derived gates okay so let's see how to draw let's see we'll take up first gate so we'll take up using nand i'll be using nand i'll be constructing your and or and not so how to construct your and gate using your nand gate okay so first we'll write the boolean expression see uh, using nand gate means uh, here i'll be using nand gate that is two input nand gate a and b here i'm having a b this is my nand gate okay nand gate so i'll subject this what is the output here y is equal to what is the output here here i'm having a dot b a dot b or a dot b bar a dot b bar a dot b bar okay so this a dot b bar here i'll subject it again to another nand gates here see please observe here i'm subjecting to another nand gate the output will be a y is equal to a dot b bar that is my previous input again i am subjecting it to and gate so it will become a dot b whole bar so what is your final answer it will be y is equal to a, a dot b. b this is your which gate it is it is and gate okay see please observe few things here i want you to observe few things it's very important while writing constructing your circuit diagram one is how to write your uh, this thing uh, what uh, the pin numbers okay see, please go back please go back in nand gate in nand gate what was your input pins here one and two is your input pins third is your output 4 and 5 is acting as input. Next, 6th is acting as output. Next, here 9 and 10 is your input. 8 is your output. Here 13 and 12 is your input. 11 is your output. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Keeping this in concept, please keep in mind what are all the input spin I have and what is your output pins have. Please apply this here okay so here i have written the circuit here come back here this is my first stand gate which i am using first nand gate so what is the input pins here one is my input pin two is my input pin what is my output pin three three sir three next what are all the two inputs which i am having four and five are my inputs sixth is my output okay 
now another thing which you must observe here is this whole gate i am just doing the negation so here there is no other input so fourth pin and fifth pin this particular symbol represents if i write this this gate as like this i am shorting these two inputs one and two if this is the case i am shorting these two this is not separate and this is not separate okay these two are same i am shorting this okay so now uh, so now please uh, just tell me here so now you are please observe here a and b is my two input one and two this is uh, the agenda what i am speaking here is writing the pin numbers for each gate one and two is your input three is your output four and five is my input sixth is your output any doubts in this no sir so oh, what is no, the sir. final uh, output gate, uh, gate number output gate number which i am having so sixth pin at the sixth pin of the nand gate i am achieving my output here so what is the ic number associated with nand gate here nand what is the nand gate ic number what is nand gate ic number just now we told this is my 7400 is it right this is my 7400 okay so this is using this is realization of and using nand okay so when you want to achieve any gate you just write the whatever the gate which through which you want to achieve it so first i'll be writing my nand gate here please observe here what is my output what is my output of first gate y is equal to a dot b a dot b bar think what has to be done next if i do the next step my final goal must be your a dot b so if i just simply apply a bar here so it will be your a dot b so i'll be applying a negation gate here so that it has become a dot b double bar which in turn your final answer will be a dot b that is your and gate any doubts in this no sir can we go further yes yes sir next is or using nand so i'll be taking or using nand see how do i write this so here i'll be using so i'll be using mm, nand gate two separate nand gates okay so a, a, see it, it's not mandatory to write the logic circuit diagram in the same manner which i am writing you can just construct your own circuit diagram it can be in any way okay so the ultimate answer must be uh, proper that's it so this is my input a okay this is my output nand gate so the output i'll be constructing so same here i'll be taking for b okay b i'll be subjecting this to another nand gate here the output which i'll be taking here let's let's uh, let's try to realize this let's uh, let's try to realize this okay so now uh first what is the output here uh, here i'm having so this is my a bar this is my the output will be here so the output which i'm having here is a bar here i'm having b bar i am subjecting it to as this input here i am having a bar here i am having b bar so the output will be your a bar dot b bar whole bar since it is an and gate so what is the answer for this it will be a double bar plus b double bar which in turn what is it it is equal to a double bar means it is a plus b double bar means it is b any doubts in this please ask if you have any doubts okay please be uh, please feel free to ask if you have any doubts please don't keep any confusions uh, don't mind if it is a very simple uh, doubt please don't hesitate to ask any doubts here okay please clear the concept and we shall go further any doubts in this 
No, sir. Okay. So now, uh, can anybody just tell me the pin numbers of this whole circuit? What is the pin number? I can just I'll I'll be just going right down the pin numbers here. One. One. Two. Okay. Three. Three. Okay. Next here, this gate. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Okay. This particular gate. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Is it correct? Please observe. Please observe. Go back to your NAND gate here. Go back to your NAND gate. So eight, nine, ten. You told eight and nine is acting as input. Ten is acting as output. So what is my input pins here? My input ten pins. Ten and nine are input pins. Ten and nine are input. Eight is my output. Eight is output. Okay. So, so this will become your. It is ten. So it will be ten, and nine will be input. Your uh, output will be your eight. So, is it okay? Did you people understand the uh, numbering of your circuit diagram? Is there any doubts with respect to this? Okay. No, sir. Okay. We'll go further. So. We took and uh, we finished and using NAND and or using NAND. We'll take up not using NAND. Okay, using NAND. So it's very simple. So I'll be writing the circuit. So this is my NAND gate. Not is very simple. A is my input. So what uh, what will be the output here? It is A bar. That's it. Okay. So the input pin will be one and two will be acting as input. Third pin will be our output. So y is equal to a bar. So this is your not using NAND. Any doubts in this? No, sir. Okay. So now uh, let's take up NOR gate here. So using your NOR gate, we we shall try to derive your AND, AND, OR, and NOT here. Okay, so uh, if you guys are familiar with this, you can just uh, keep drawing the circuit there and there itself in your uh, class notebook there. Okay, so those who haven't understand, just you people try to follow follow up here. So here I I, I need to draw my and using my NOR gate. So NOR gate, I'll be ri uh, writing this as NOR gate. This is my NOR gate. Okay. This is my NOR gate, one input. So second NOR gate. Okay, this is my second NOR gate. So this is my A, this is B. Okay, so I'll be subjecting it to another NOR gate here. So another NOR gate. We'll see what is the uh, thing here. So my output will be what is the output of first gate here? It is A bar, A bar. This the output of this is B bar. So here it is A bar plus B bar whole bar. So if I simplify this, Y is equal to A bar plus B bar whole bar. What I'll be getting? I'll be getting A double bar. A double bar into B double bar, okay, that it is equal to A into B. Is it correct? Can I write it like this? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, how do I write my pin numbers? Can anybody just quickly recap your NOR gate pin numbers and tell me quickly? What is my input? Uh, what I will uh, try to name from this particular gate one. What is my input pins? Three, two, 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 and three. Ah, two and three is your input pins. What is your output pin? One. 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 Next here. Five and six are input pins. Five and six, seven is an output. Hmm. Four. Here again. Hmm. 
Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, sir, so B output will be four, no, sir. Output uh, will be yes, yes. So this is your fourth. It be four, sir. Huh. So this is your fourth. This is your fourth. Sorry. Okay. So is it correct now? Can we go further? Can we go further? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So now, or using nor. How do I write or using nor? So two inputs I'm having. I'll be writing your nor gate. So now, so here I'm having A and B. So it will be your A plus B, A plus B whole bar. So this I want to remove this bar so that I'll be subjecting it to another nor gate here so another nor gate if i subject this particular thing so it will become y is equal to a plus b bar whole bar so it will be y is equal to a double bar plus b double bar so finally your answer will be a plus b is it correct So the uh, the pin numbers associated with this. Can anybody just tell me the pin numbers quickly here now? Two three. Two three. One. One. Five six four. Five six four. Okay. So this is your R using NOR. Last we have not using nor. How do I write? So it's very simple. I have uh, so I'm having uh, single input. So it is merged with. Uh, will be shorting two inputs. So so sorry sorry. So this is uh, like this. I'll be drawing it again. This is my input. I'll be shorting with two. This is my output. So if A is my input, so Y is equal to A bar. What is the pin numbers here? Two and three is my two input. One is my output. Okay. So Y is equal to A plus A bar. A plus A, that is whole bar. It can be written, or it can you can just write it uh, directly as uh, Y is equal to A bar. Okay. So this is you are not using nor. Any doubts in this? No, sir. Okay. So in this today's session, we actually discuss what is basic gates. Okay. In basic gates, we just discussed what is uh, and or not so these are all the basic gates then we go go we went ahead with your derived gates that is nand and nor and also we discussed your xor gate okay and also we studied realization of your basic gates using your derived gates okay so